in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen today we reflect on the gospel of the 11th sunday in ordinary time in today's gospel jesus reminds us of our mission in the kingdom of god jesus reminds us that we have to contribute whatever we have to build this god's kingdom even the smallest of smallest talents we have with us to fulfill the father's will of building his kingdom we now read from the gospel according to saint mark chapter 4 verses 26 to 34 and he said the kingdom of god is as if a man should scatter seed upon the ground and should sleep and rise night and day and the seed should sprout and grow he knows not how the earth produces of itself first the blade then the ear then the full grain in the ear but when the grain is ripe at once he puts in the sickle because the harvest has come and he said with what can we compare the kingdom of god or what parables shall we use for it it is like a grain of mustard seed which when sown upon the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on earth yet when it is sown it grows up and becomes the greatest of all the shrubs and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nest in its shade with many such parables he spoke the word to them as they were able to hear it he did not speak to them without a parable but privately to his own disciples he explained everything let us read again and watch for the word phrase idea or the thought to stand out to us and he said the kingdom of god is as if a man should scatter seed upon the ground and should sleep and rise night and day and the seed should sprout and grow he knows not how the earth produces of itself first the blade then the ear then the full grain in the ear but when the grain is ripe at once he puts in the sickle because the harvest has come and he said with what can we compare the kingdom of god or what parables shall we use for it it is like a grain of mustard seed which when sown upon the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on earth yet when it is sown it grows up and becomes the greatest of all the shrubs and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nest in its shade 
with many such parables he spoke the word to them as they were able to hear it he did not speak to them without a parable but privately to his own disciples he explained everything next step meditatio you have to take that one word phrase or idea which stood out and go over them over and over in our mind the words that stood out for me it is like the grain of mustard seed which when sown upon the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on earth yet when it is sown it grows up and becomes the greatest of all the shrubs next step oracio now tell god that phrase which stood out that reflection that came from it talk to him final step contemplate you you have spoken to god now expect god to speak to you with silence god speaks to us be still and know that god is near you
let us now end with a prayer Dear God give us your grace to give whatever we have selflessly in building your kingdom make us a cheerful giver especially in moments of our own needs give us your grace now to share our talents time and love beginning with our own people at home and our own neighborhood beginning today give us your grace to be a cheerful giver beginning small just like a mustard seed for the glory of your holy name all glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen